Okay, I've converted this snowblower to be electric and corded with a 240 volt motor. Well, you might ask, why don't I just go out and buy an electric snowblower? The thing is, out here, an electric snowblower that you can buy at the store is really underpowered. It's just 120 volt. Uh, you need something that's two stages. This is two stage. The first stage is the main auger. The second stage is the thrower. The, the cheap, crappy 120 volt ones are only one stage because that's all they can do. You're limited to 120 volt on a 15 amp breaker typically. This motor I happened to get from a hot tub. This hot tub uh, pump, I uh, was in my backyard. I scrapped the, the hot tub, but I kept the, the motor because it's still good. This motor it doesn't say the horsepower, but you can calculate that just by multiplying the amps times the volts. It's rated for 230 volts and 12 amps on high speed. Gonna try it. Simply, you can plug it in with this. This is a lock-in connector. It won't come unplugged. I can turn it on with this, and I have a little side switch here that will uh, switch the speed. Uh, and other, and also have a an AC to DC converter in here for uh, the relays, which switches the speed, and the LED lights that I've added to this as well. So it's like, well, why doesn't this exist as a product if it's so great? Well, most people don't have 240 volt in their garage, but that is changing. I have this car and that car. Both of them can use 240 volt and these things, right? This is an electric vehicle charging station. So how do I get this to that? I'll show you. So I have, this is a little bit jerry-rigged, but I have, it's hard to do with one hand. This adapter, you can buy these on the internet. They're not really uh, official because you can't really certify something like this. It doesn't really conform to the electrical code. But hey, as long as you're responsible and take your life in your own hands, it's all good. I've made this, it's kind of like a splitter. So that goes on one end. This is the other end. And as well as, as that. So we're all good. All I gotta do is take this. Plug that into there, press this button, and that's this charging station here. Uh, smart guys might think that this uh, charging station, they might recognize this, comes with the Nissan Leaf. It's only rated for 120 volt. I hacked this. This is 240 volt now. Uh, <clears throat> and that's a 20 amp breaker in there, which is more than enough for the 12 amp motor that's on there. So the power's on. This is exactly the same as any other industrial connector and I'm uh, ready to go with my extension cord. Let's see how this goes. Okay, here we go. Power on. I'll go on. Now, it's tricky to do with one hand. quieter than it was before. That thing was so loud. I need that hearing protection on it. It was so loud. I can actually talk over this. And that's what it sounds like there. There you go. Forward and reverse are kind of backwards, but that's okay. There we go. And there's a the cord, just like an electric lawnmower. It's not that big of a deal to have a cord. Works great though, I think. This has been working, but full disclosure, the relay system I had in here is not working out. Literally, it stopped working, which interfered with everything. So I had, I think the AC to DC converter that I had in here that made the 24 volts, it crapped out. It was a cheap Chinese thing anyways. So I replaced it. All we had was a 12 volt one available, and I had to do some digging. But all it does now is just light the, uh, the lights, which are more useful at night, they're actually pretty bright. It's just daytime right now, so you don't notice. And uh, I did the driveway. I, I cheated a bit after I went through it. I did it again with a shovel. It, all snow blowers will leave behind a little bit. But here's the ultimate test. I got this uh, very large pile left behind by the plow. And so I'm going to see uh, if this thing's got what it takes to cut the mustard. 
Let's just get this thing rolling here. There is a sidewalk underneath that. I'm not I'm not snow blowing the grass. So let's turn it on. Fog are on. Here the grass. Well, that uh, sidewalk is a little deceiving. I think I'm a little off, but pretty impressed. It's doing pretty good. It's really hard to do with one hand. There we go. That's interesting. It's straining a little bit, but it's getting the job done. That's amazing. Yeah, not bad. All right, cool.